The ultimate battle of man versus machine. <laughs> Shortbread, honey, honey apples. apples. Oh, Jeez. You can't defeat. Am I like a set go? How to choose the right whiskey for you. But all whiskey tastes the same, Rex. This isn't usually a violent channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, this episode is gonna be all about best foot forward in trying to decide where do you begin with whiskey and what's gonna give you the most likelihood of finding a whiskey that you're probably gonna like. So you don't try a whiskey that is really off base for you. We've heard it, we've heard people say, oh, I tried this one whiskey this one time, so I'm not a whiskey drinker because I didn't like that. And then you find out it was like Laphroaig or something. <laughs> yeah. Where we often find the most valuable guidance and help is whenever you take a large number of people and see how those preferences overlap each other. We'll see if there's overlap that's helpful category to category, here we go. So which categories did we choose for this, basically the broad strokes, the flavors you're most commonly gonna get out of these different categories here? For this purpose we chose bourbon, right. rye, right. and three regions of Scotland to represent sort of the breadth of Scotland. And Irish whiskey. I sort of feel like we should start with Irish. Okay. So this is Powers, this is the John's Lane version. 12 years old. 12 years old. Hot still Irish whiskey. And it's not impossible to get your hands on. It's a 46% alcohol right? whiskey. You know what, the Irish, we always say it's the strip red cookie and the vanilla. Mm, it really is. It's yeah. vanilla cream. There's a slight malty, musty note. Mm-hmm. It's very round and buttery. So a little bit barley. Boom, Irish whiskey. And what have people said about Irish whiskey? Van vanilla. Vanilla. Yeah. Shortbread. Honey. honey apples, apples. I get it. Cream. Yes, yeah, citrus, said all butter, the There's cream. Grain. There's grain, right? The oh. small number of people say things like toffee or marzipan. Try a sip of this, because I think this one has a little bit of that toasted marshmallow note on mm -hmm. the palate. Mm -hmm. And it gets a little spicier. What did I think because it's 12 years old. What did distillers say about Irish whiskey? Distiller said vanilla. Vanilla, creamy. Creamy, sweet oak. Citrus. Citrus. Floral. Uh, and everybody, they like to use the word little. They do. Yeah, a little touch of next category. Mm -hmm. I'll get you a new glass. Speyside. Yep. Now I chose specifically Speyside Glenfiddich 15. Yeah. Because I think Glenfiddich is just a really classic Speyside. And I also think that the Glenfiddich uh, 15 has all that nice, really well-balanced combination of sherry right. and bourbon right. cask. Yeah, yeah. And Glenfiddich is one of these brands that we'll often recommend whenever somebody says, hey, what's a good, be like a beginner scotch? Mm -hmm. Something for me to dip a toe in the water. Glenfiddich is up there. There's actually yeah. a video on our other channel where we do nothing but whiskey reviews. It's the top 10 whiskeys for beginners. I'm going to link that right up here and then out in, in the description there. It's just basically... The top 10 whiskeys that opened up the door for our community of whiskey lovers. What whiskey made you fall in love with whiskey? And that's their top 10 list here. All right, first, what are your nose and taste notes? That floral fruitiness, man. That's very common to the Speyside region raisin. of Scotch. That sort of uh, uh, plum, sort of sweet sherry note. Yeah, yeah. And the... Uh, vanilla and cream and berries. Yep. And then oh, just a mild just honey so, and vanilla. So friendly. So it's like, pretty. Uh, it's like honeysuckle. Yeah, it absolutely is honeysuckle. Very floral. Yeah. So Community said floral, vanilla, honey, honey, sherry, butterscotch. I could see brine showing up if you're doing the coastals like Oban sure. or even Kregeliki or Kleinleash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they got, you got of course, some dark yeah. fruits in there too. Dried fruit. But the big ones, vanilla, floral, honey, honey and then sherry. sherry is a very common finish. In space side. In space or sometimes space. aged its whole life in sherry barrels. Sherry cask aged whiskey is uh, more dominant, I think, in Speyside than any other region. Now, Speyside. the distillery version. The collected descriptions that distilleries give their most popular bottlings. Of about 12 bottles from famous Speyside distilleries. They say was sweet. Sweet. Apple. Apple cinnamon. Vanilla. Dried. dried fruit's pretty big up dried there. Dried fruit. Orange chocolate. Oh, chocolate. I can see chocolate, because chocolate often, for me, shows up with a really sherried scotches. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Then, uh, then custard. Malty. Is the so, word hints in there? <laughs> it actually is right there. Hint. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> All right, so let's move to... There can be only one. For Highland, I'm going with Glenmorangie. And I'm going with the original. Highland and Speyside Scotch. A lot but, of overlap, but... But they're different enough. You'll find as much overlap in the flavors here as you will with bourbon and rye. Yeah. Keep in mind, in any given category, it's not like anything you get from Highland's gonna give these same notes. Anything oh. you get from bourbon territory is gonna give these same notes. There are 
Very often outliers that don't give the middle of the road notes at all. I, there's a lot of nice barrel spice and pepper in this. Mm -hmm. This is kind of nice. Mm. It's more common to have peat smoke in a Highland, but it'll be it's usually typically lighter, not as heavy as the Islas and Cameltons. And then, so I get that sweet vanilla once again in the nose. I get a little more of the malt, uh, and I get the malty like, floral honey, and I get like grass, like fields of gardening and things. Fields of and then in the taste, I get all the pepper and kind of sweet notes fields of around that pepper. Highland. Honey, honey number yeah. one, right and then out of the heather gate. and butterscotch. Yeah, hay, hay. absolutely. So cut grass, hay, hay, cooked apples. Did anyone get any of the spice notes? St stewed fruit, uh, spice notes. Let me see. It says spices, mm. marzipan. I guess that counts. Yeah, marzipan, okay. and I then that. occasionally, oh, yeah, occasionally people get smoke. some smoke. Their malt they got in here. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Distilleries okay. say. Yeah. The distiller is vanilla. Vanilla, if you can't figure it out, is a very common well, it's, note. It's the dominant thing. It happens in bourbon. Across happens categories. In rye. It's yeah. all grain, spirits, and wood. That's one of the dominant things that happens when they interact. Yeah, so if you like vanilla, it's very likely you're going to find some whiskeys that you're going to fall in love yeah. with. Fruit, sweetness, rich, toasted, barley. gentle, barley, oak. Quite. Yeah. Because apparently people are saying quite. Quite a few things. Right, it's right. not quite this. Rich fruitcake. All right, next up we have bourbon. And we're going to use Old Forester because one, it's the longest running bourbon brand in America. Really? One of the first to release whiskey in bottles. Okay. And uh, it's just a classic bourbon. Now we chose the uh, 100 proof Old okay. Forester. Yeah. This is Brown Foreman yeah, brand. Yeah, yeah. There's the oakiness, the apple. Yeah. Honey. And then it's a different kind of vanilla. It's a vanilla that's There's, going to be mixed in with the honey oaky character, the baking spice. Also, the grain notes are very different. So that instead of the malty grain note, you get this sweet, dusty corn note. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, that has almost a pipe tobacco molasses note before it turns into barrel spice and pepper. All right. What, so, did, the what did the group say? say? The people spoke. For the bourbon, you got vanilla... Uh -huh. Caramel, cherry, oak, cherry, brown sugar, cinnamon, yep. corns in there, wood, honey. This is not as much cherry. I would remove from this one, but, but I agree with that completely. Yeah. Those are right down the middle. In terms of middle of the road flavors. Nobody knew what we were actually going to be tasting here. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Now, the top as chosen by distilleries in the U.S. and their own tasting notes for their own bourbons... Oak, oak, caramel, yeah. cinnamon, spice, vanilla, toffee, butterscotch... Quite. Quite. <laughs> yeah. Apple, maple, yep. sugars, spices, oily made it in there. I would agree with oily. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so All right. a lot of overlap. Rye next. Russell's Reserve. This is Wild Turkey Distillery. Okay. They're making a rye, right? Yeah. So oh. this is a classic bourbon distillery and I think a classic rye. Classic, but on a little bit... Classic leaning towards the lighter side of rye. Classic leaning towards tea. Yeah. Uh, Hot tea. Sometimes in rye you'll get like a really black licorice anise type mm -hmm. of note there. Something a little bit more spicy, but almost herbal. Almost an herbal quality. This is still a little herbal, but it's herbal like tea herbal. Yeah, almost. Not like actual and plant I, herbal. And I rarely find it in rye, but... I have the slightest trace of a eucalyptus note in here. Yeah, absolutely. And maybe because I just threw down a pretty hefty bourbon, mm -hmm. the comparison between the two. Oh, and the taste is just creamy baking spice. Oh, I like the hell it's out like of that. It's like Christmas. Wow. I actually, Isn't that delicious? I actually am enjoying this Russell's a lot more than I remember. Yeah, me too. It's lovely. Love Coming it. on the heels of everything else, it's just really well balanced. Oh, refreshing and light yeah. and sweet and just enough spice to make it interesting. So the people said about rye. Mm -hmm. You have things like spice. Yeah. Licorice, anise, that's the same thing. Caramel. Caramel. Bready Bread. notes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, wood. Then, uh, Pumpernickel. Wood. Look, somebody put in eucalyptus. Oh, oh we found him. I right. my soulmate. Now, the as selected by distillery tasting notes, the word cloud for rye. We got fruit, fruit. spice, vanilla, yep. caramel, butterscotch. Yeah. And then you start getting into like the cinnamons. Copper. Tastes like long. <laughs> Love that long, long finish. Uh, and then, the, oh, pepper made it in there. Interesting. Oh, it's funny that long really did dominate as in, in repeats. Yeah. I think it's because the oily spice of rye it does often, tend yeah. to linger. It does usually have a longer yeah. finish than most. And then toffee made a, a pretty strong showing yeah. in there, too. Right on. Sweet. Okay. Okay. The reputation 
of eyeless scotch. This that has what? a much more disproportionate place in people's minds yeah. than it actually does in the marketplace. A lot of whiskey lovers adore the smoky, meaty, savory, aggressive, earthy flavors of an eyeless scotch. But, but in the industry, there's a quote. Yeah. Exactly. By the numbers, when you say scotch, people think Isla. Mm -hmm. When they order scotch, they're vastly ordering lighter, fruity, or more floral stuff. But this, now, this is Lagavulin. This is the type yes. of this is the type of whiskey where you could just do an entire uh, episode of handing nothing but Isla scotches to whiskey noobs and see what happens. And just look at the expression on their face, and it's the reaction. That's actually a good idea. We should do that. It's a reaction video. Done. Trademarked. Nobody's ever done a reaction video yeah. before. We're Except for Lefroy. <laughs> Lefroy did it. Did they do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was a commercial for Lefroy, and it's hilarious. Well, reaction videos in general on YouTube yeah. is kind of like you can't throw a rock but without saying a reaction video. This is where we unveil yeah. with this bottle mm. that we have a special guest. Everybody welcome Nick Offerman. Hold on. He's not back. I, I got a text from his agent. They said, who is this and how did you get this number? Yeah, he's not coming. Damn it. He's not coming. Okay, it's fine. Brine and barbecue and... Smoked meat, man. Yeah, like, smoked fish, if Overly, anything. overly yeah. smoked meat, man. So there's in um, a lot of uh, cultures where way up in Scandinavian, you've got smoked fish jerky. Oh, yeah. You got it in Russia too. I get a lot of that in the nose on there. Smoked fish jerky. No, the, it's the fun thing about Isla is if you're not scared off by like the big, giant, formidable flavors mm -hmm. here, uh, and you start to acclimate to this, this, the smokiness, the earthiness, this wall of you know very unique and interesting notes, you start to find some more sweet, subtle, friendly, fruity, mm -hmm. delicate things underneath. Try that's. It. That's cool. It's in the palate. I like the palate the is too. vanilla and uh, flowers. I'm getting fruitiness and floral notes on and the nose. And there's a minty note that lingers through, uh, like a little trace through the center oh. of this log of oil and yeah. slight minty finish. Yeah. Okay. So oh, that's it's magnificent. What, so, are the, what are the people saying? Uh, sorry, I lost track of what we were doing here because this is so good. But, right, be prepared though. If you're not yeah. used to like those kind of medicinal iodine rubber... You know, aggressive, smoky, meaty, earthy types of flavors. Hey, no. There, you know now. You know what the categories have to offer. The Isla Scotch, Zeplipra. Smoke, biggest by far. Mm -hmm. Iodine, yeah. brine, salt, peat, ash, bacon. Then you start getting into campfire smoke. Yeah. Uh, Multi sweetness, umami, earth, wood fire. Yeah. Ironically, there's some really subtle. Uh, islands that are not even smoky at all, but of course they're not going to make the center of the profile category. Okay. Now the distillery said they're on the same page. Yeah. Smoke. smoke. <laughs> <laughs> then you have uh, vanilla, peat, smoky. smoky. What is su <laughs> suchong? Yeah, it's t there's tea types, right? Like lapsang. Oh, so, different yeah. types of tea. Yeah, but they're the ones that are like the smoked tea. Sure. Right? So we got um, spices, citrus, lapsang. Oh, you got different teas in here. Plasters. You know, oh, you know what it is? Ah, oh, okay, so I just realized this. You did your... In UK, right. Band-Aids are often referred to as plasters. Oh, band... So, yes, Band-Aids. Band-Aids. People often give the note of... Yes. It smells like Band-Aids. Yes, and that's what I... A sticky plaster. You got lemon, yeah. sherry, blossom, peppermint, orange, yeah, yeah. Are all over the place. Oh, yeah. That's what makes Isla a funky adventure here. And that's where the people who are uh, in, numb to some of the categories, they look for the depth of exploration and the more and more smoky whiskeys. Okay, after you've kind of narrowed down what you think the category is that's going to be most likely to deliver a whiskey that you're going to enjoy right out of the gate, um, the next thing you want to really keep an eye on is the proof of this whiskey because that's there right. can be a very wide range of how much alcohol is in here and if you're not ready for it, like a cask strength whiskey. Or even just a 40% whiskey if you're not a hard liquor drinker. That's right. If you're used yeah. to you know, cocktails and mixing it and diluting it and putting it on ice and all that other stuff, even a 40% 40, 40 whiskey could come across as pretty harsh. But the thing is, yeah. drinking whiskey out of the bottle and not liking it doesn't mean you're not a whiskey drinker. It right. could just be that you need to bring that proof down to right at the point where it stops being a struggle as a way to introduce yourself to whiskey. We're gonna start with bourbon. We're gonna add a little bit of water? Yeah. So we did a whole video talking about how, when, and why to add water to whiskey. I'm gonna add a little bit here. I probably brought this down to about 35 just now. Yeah. And I think that that's uh, nice. It still maintains the honey and the spice. If we take it even further, oh, because yeah. people are really not used to hard yeah, liquor. Yeah, almost half water there. But notice, you still have some of the bourbon notes. Now, it's wiped out the sugar and left only the barrel spice. These, I have multiple times taken people through this journey. Yeah. 
whiskey and soda. Yeah. Switch to whiskey and sparkling water. Okay. Oh, still on the rocks. Sure. Switch to whiskey, sparkling water, no ice. Yeah. Switch to whiskey, water. Switch to whiskey. Not necessarily in the same evening, but... Yeah, in about 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish half the bottle. It yeah. was amazing. We're a big proponent of uh, some amazing, interesting, cool, innovative stuff happening in the world of craft whiskey distilleries. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. But if your goal is to try and find something that you can get off the shelf any given time, if you're going to go craft, try and pick a local craft place. My experience, the local craft distilleries are really good at being a part of the journey with you. Oh, yeah. And so if you have a good local craft distillery, they will take you on that journey in their tasting room. Absolutely. In the comments below, I mm -hmm. want to see the category of whiskey that you are enjoying the most right now and what right. you think is the best representation of that category in the comments. Let's go do some stuff now. All right, so we went through a bunch of categories here. We gave you the common broad strokes, middle of the road flavors. Mm -hmm. The thing that's a real differentiator from bottling to bottling is how these common flavors are balanced together. Yeah, like in those word clouds you saw, there's some rise that will hit right in the middle of all the biggest ones. And then there's other rise that seem to only have the flavors that were the smallest word choices in the general word cloud. That's really fun to go exploring. That's what we do in the Whiskey Tribe, along with occasional silly, 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 silly. Ready? I'm ready. The ultimate battle of man versus machine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so balance is the name of the game, right? Yeah, balance is important in whiskey. Okay, we're gonna see what has better balance. The ultimate realization of two-year-old Chinese gimbal technology. <laughs> or, <laughs> <laughs> or, or, the earthy quality that only a hobbit can provide. Ah, oh, psalm. Very well grounded psalm. We're gonna have a balancing competition. All right. Slash race. Ready? You ever heard the phrase rose colored glasses? Yes. Like roses are fine. Yes. But whiskey's a lot better, so we made whiskey goggles. Yes. To, no, sunglasses, they're horrible. They're not good sunglasses, but you just brighten your day a little bit and <laughs> see the world through whiskey colored eyes. Amazing. <laughs> Actually, it does make things seem a little bit cheerier. Turn them on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's like a Disney cartoon when all the birds start chirping and yeah, yeah. things are flying around. Yeah, whiskey ah. goggles. Feel pretty good. That's good because they're the only thing protecting your eyeballs from the whiskey. Yeah. Oh. Yes. So let's get ourselves a pour. Wait, wait, that's you? Level. Yeah. Oh, it leveled. Oh. Jeez. You can't defeat. It feels like cheating. I'll give you a sporting chance because I'm also going to be riding the Moochin. There's a very, very important trip that happens yes. when you're drinking whiskey. Okay. The trip from where you're drinking to the restroom. The bathroom. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Over there. Okay. We'll start up next to the distillery. Okay. I have to go. Out to the chapel. To the chapel, around the building. Uh, Dude, that's like 20 times the difference. It's not 20. 50 times the difference. It's not 50. You aren't without advantages. Low center of gravity. Wide hobbity feet. And. <laughs> Wide hobbit feet. <laughs> Don't forget your protection. Oh, yeah. The whiskey whiskey goggles. goggles. Eye protection, yes. For science. <laughs> all right. You got this. You, can you manage going down the stairs? Yeah. All the way over. To this bathroom. Tommy, don't let people in the bathroom for the next two minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? I'm going to just test. This is a test run. Okay. All right. Is that good? I think I got this. You got it? Okay. Do I, can I put the glass on my head before we leave sure. or on go? Yes. That was not a yes or no question. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. Am I going to set go? Uh, where's the edge of the handle? Oh, I can't tell. Uh, where's the railing? There it is. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is so nerve wracking. Hey, I think I could have been an acrobat. We got this. Oh, I just started to rock. Ah. First turn. And one. Okay. Where's the step? Where am I? Still balanced? Suck it, nerd. Damn it! <laughs> yeah.
Boom, boom. 